This is Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Kickstarter. In fact, as we begin this year together, 2021, I'm going to do a series of Kickstarters uh, for the first week or so. And these are things that I wrote down and posted back in my 30s when I was training for the Olympics. And I have found throughout the ages, uh, down through the years, that they're very helpful in all areas of life. So I'm happy to share them with you. Hope you can use them. Kickstarter number four has to do with how we run the race. It says, surely you know that many runners take part in a race, but only one of them wins the prize. Run then in such a way as to win the prize. I harden my body with blows and bring it under complete control to keep myself from being disqualified after having called others to the contest, the Apostle Paul. My experiences in track and field were that I was given a javelin and a pair of shoes and a dream. Started from scratch, walked on, but I had a coach with belief that instilled confidence. He really believed there was some potential there. And so he was there through all the challenges of throwing one of the javelins into the electrical wires and burning it up breaking a knee half into, you know, little incidental things like that. But the end result was uh, we ended up with a, a brand new track and field named after him. And I was able to be able to have one of the best performances in the history of the school, earn a little scholarship and many other neat benefits. But it all was done to continue to inspire other generations to take up the torch and to move forward into the next level. Philosophy is always dream bigger than one lifetime can accomplish. And so we see that you know that many runners take part in a race. We are a part of a great assembly. God has created this universe and specifically this globe we live on with wonderful human beings and we're all a part of this wonderful jigsaw puzzle he's trying to bring together into a beautiful picture. And so each one is running their own race, but we need to run as a winner in our leg of the race. Coach Rosen coached the Olympic team and, and wanted me to go compete with him in Spain. However, that broken knee prevented that level, but it, many good things came out of that. He was really great with the relay races, and he emphasized the fact of carrying the baton. Each participant in that race had a specific duty, whether to jump out to a fast lead or hang close to the one that was faster so the next gun one could win the race. But only one crossed the finish line, and there were four in the race, but each one had to run in such a way as to win the prize. And that took place because they were each laying a foundation for the next. And it says, harden my, my body with blows and bring it under complete control so you don't mess up the rest of the race. And laying that foundation and running as a winner required discipline, control, and faithfulness. And so wherever you are in your life and whatever your dream is, make sure your dream is big enough to carry you all the way through and that you'll never quite be complete, but others will catch that vision that you see of the completed race, and they will be able to take up the torch or the baton and move forward. So God bless you as you do your part today. This is Daily Dose of Daryl, Kickstarter number four, and reminding us to always dream something bigger than we can accomplish in one lifetime and others will catch that vision and they will run as to win the prize too. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful new year.